Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm just going to do one more video on one point perspective and this is the aim. So the last one, uh, the last round we did was bird's eye view, looking from a bird's eye, looking down on buildings. This is going to be the reverse. So the idea is you're looking up at the sky um, and these are buildings. So it's the exact same thing. So it's a one point perspective. Again, one point is right here. It's called the vanishing point. And all these lines are coming off are the guidelines that become the buildings. Same premise, same ideas. So we'll just we'll get started there. So the first thing is I have a three piece of paper. You can use whatever you have, A4, A5, whatever. So what I'm going to use today is all I need is a pencil. So I'll use, I have a dark pencil, which is a 6B, which I've been using in the last last few lessons. And I use a biro, the biro is just so it's clearer to see in the video. In your case, you can use a lighter pencil, which is a HB, and a dark pencil, which is a 6B. Something, some, a light pencil and a dark pencil, yeah. So we'll start off with a horizon line, which is going from left to right, halfway up the page, right across. Again, you can use your, your straight edge or your ruler if you like. I'm not going to use it in this. And then you can find on that line center, you try to find a center point and I'll just call it a vanishing point. Again, later on the drawing, this will be erased. It won't be visible, but it'll be still there. Everything is going to be based off these, these steps. So what you do is get from the vanishing point, just draw lines coming straight out all the way across, right around. So you'll see me just doing it. So let's go. Try to keep them as straight as you can. Start off from the vanishing point outwards. Try not to do it from the, the line back in because it's less accurate. And when you're doing these lines, try to do it in one clean swoop. Gets you kind of confident in your line making. Like the more you draw, the more confident you're going to get. And these kind of things will help you. And don't worry too much if it isn't straight. Like most of these aren't perfectly straight. It just gives you an idea. That's the first step. Second thing is we're going to start getting the roofs of the buildings. So all we're going to do is start drawing lines to connecting these things, these these converging lines together. So at random. So I'll just do. You can copy mine directly, or you can just uh, copy it loosely. So at first, it's going to look fairly abstract. You can do angles, different heights. You can even do arcs. Do another one down here. Try to mix it up a bit. Try not to do the same ones over and over again. Just so it's a bit, bit, bit more interesting looking. So. Um, you play around with it like, um, say. Yeah, so let's do one bit. Right, looks a bit abstract at the moment, but we'll connect, start connecting them there together and we'll start formulating the buildings. So I'll go around here now, so we'll start connecting them. So I'm using the guidelines to be the sides of the buildings. So Again, you can use your straight edges or your rulers to get more accuracy on this. Don't have to, but if you prefer it, you're more than welcome working. And the thing is, it's a bit more, bit of fun, this because there's no right or wrong. It's just, it gets, you, it, gets, it gets your mind thinking of what things could look like. I know we don't have any cities in Ireland that have buildings like this now, but you can experiment on what possibly could be in the future, who knows. Right, that's them all connected, you get the idea. Right, so it's coming together. So the next thing is, what we'll need is windows. So you can do horizontal lines or vertical lines or or, or different varieties of marks. So I'll start off with just say lines coming down from this one. Say, again, these are guidelines. I'm not too, I don't really mind too much they're coming up over the edge, it happens. So it makes up a little bit. Yeah. 
So the tops of the buildings, the line here is going to be further away from your view than this line here. So what I'll do is I'll, to make that feeling, to give the idea, when I'm drawing the lines, they're going to be closer together when they're closer at the top, when they're at the top of the building. And as they get further away from the building, they get further and further away. I'll do it a few times here now. I'm mixing up, so I'll try to do it here again. So we get space are getting greater as it gets further and further away from the sky. It's moving on me. The arc, same premise. We're getting bigger. Off, but here I'll leave that white just for the crack. Um, right, that's the idea. So I'll just go in now with my darker pen, my, well, my pen, but you can use your darker pencil and just to confirm all these lines that I'm happy with. Again, you'll spend more time with this than I, and these gives this gives you the steps of what how to create one point perspective looking up from a, a sky scene skyscraper scene I suppose um, the more confident you get you can just start adding in extra details in your second drawing or whatever but it's good to doodle around with you don't have to do art to enjoy this sort of stuff um, I think it's a good thing to test out add more details for example you could put a plane in the, up in the sky here at the moment flying over or even a bird you can have things like I'm going to put in a blue sky just because it's standard but you can start putting in different colours of skies, like red, yellows, whatever. Simple but effective. So you can see that the one point perspective gives you many options. Simple but very effective. You don't have to be a good drawer to be able to do these steps. Just standard drawing a dot, drawing lines from the dot, and then create the scene. I won't have time to do all these now, but... You can even use dark markers or whatever you like, if you'd like. Um, I'll just, with another idea here is, I draw the lines coming out here, while there's all three windows, and as I come down these lines, they're getting get greater and greater. That's because they're getting bigger and bigger when they're closer to me. And vice versa, they're getting smaller as they get further away. So one of the main rules you pick from the one point perspective is things that are further away from you are smaller, things that are closer to you are bigger. Right, that gets the idea. So they have the idea of um, the sky. This is the sky, this is the buildings, and these are the windows. Um, so let's see if I can get, and here we are, let's have this pen, this is the blue pen. You can use a colour and pencils, you can use a biro if you like. I'm just going to colour in a bit of blue just to give you the, the feeling of a sky. There's all these moving on me there. Um, so obviously the parts I'm not colouring in, they're kind of supposed to be um, clouds. Right, it's going to just cover the whole thing in blue. Doesn't doesn't have to have any clouds. Make it a bit more simple on you. So I'll just um, again, you can use these steps and move it on into painting. There's no reason that it can't be a painting. And I just suggest when you're doing drawings or anything like, so when you're doing any artwork, you start off with pencil just to get everything laid out, and then it gives you confidence then to know what you're going to do. It makes you plan out things a little better. There, that's just to give you an idea. That's good. You can spend more time with this, um, and at the moment I don't have a rubber. But what I, what you could do is you just erase these guidelines here at the moment and get rid of the one point here that we have visible. I'm leaving it here just so you can see how it all kind of how it all developed develops then out into the drawing. You can get an eraser, get rid of it. Yeah, so that's it. Give it a go. Um, another thing that you can do one point perspective, looking up, looking looking down, creating in scenes. So yeah, same steps, just looking at something a different subject. Give it a go. You don't have to be an artist to try this. Like, just give it a go. Any piece of paper. You only need really a pencil and a paper. 
Um, so yeah, give it a go. Use the same steps and enjoy it. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Sure, I'll talk to you soon there, guys, and take care.